you found the Sharks Broadcast Podcast. Subscribe. And if you like what you hear, give us a five-star rating. Win cash. Spring into cash with Sarah and Adrian starting on Monday. Your chance to win up to $10,000 right here on the Sharks. So, Train, you know how you were talking about that woman who whipped off her shirt in Exeter? Yeah. At the um, primary, September primary? Yeah, last September, the primary. First in the nation, I guess so. There we go. <laughs> she uh, yeah, wasn't supposed to wear the shirt, so she said, all right, here we go, and it voted topless. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, remember that campaign that they had on Hampton Beach where the women oh. just whip off their tops? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I'm absolutely. not there. I just... I got to say, New Hampshire is a trailblazer when it comes to that sort of thing. They just want to let the ladies fly, apparently. Live live free and flash. (laughs) Hey, hey. (laughs) I'm not there. I'm just not there. I don't know. Live free and let it fly. I don't know. (laughs) That's, yeah. No, no, no. I've got no, we've got no problem with that. I, I don't know. That's not my, my ballpark to uh, be in, you know? (laughs) Yeah. You go, go ahead. That's fine with me. Yeah. You want that freedom? I will say, I am a proponent of, True equality. That means mm-hmm. what's for good for women is good for men. Yes. You know what I mean? It's got, you're not going to have, it, it, you know, true equality with something like that if it's, you know, if one is different than the other. Yeah. So maybe if we, we both wear shirts. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, do you ever go topless on the uh, beach? Oh man, that's a that's awful. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've got uh, that's another thing. That's funny because with the women are doing, I'm just like, oh, I. You know, when I go swimming, uh, uh-uh, I got the fat guy shirt. You got the fat guy. Yeah, I too wear all you know something that covers yep. my entire body. Yeah, I just I try to. I, you know, whatever. I'm up at the lake. Not many people are looking. I know that, but uh, still, yeah, I just got to go with the fat guy shirt. Yeah, I got gotcha. it's more comfortable being in the fat guy shirt. <laughs> Right, you feel. Yeah. Yeah, I remember uh, this past summer, I went up on Lake Winnipesaukee. A friend of mine had a boat up there. So David and I went in um, into the water. I was truly in yoga pants and a T-shirt. Yep. I look back at pictures, I'm like, oh, my goodness, why didn't I just let my freak flag fly? Huh. You know huh. what I mean? It's just oh, comfortable. I just, I it's just comfortable. I don't know. I, yeah, I'm always with the go with the fat guy shirt and I like cutoffs, like cutoff jeans. That's yeah. my That's my go-to. <laughs> yeah. I'm like an obese Duke brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A-Train. As a de- when you think about businesses that are selling through the roof, like Aloe or Allbirds or Skims, sure, you think about a great product, a cool brand, and brilliant marketing. But an often overlooked secret is actually the businesses behind the business, making selling simple. For millions of businesses, that business is Shopify. Nobody does selling better than Shopify, home of the number one checkout on the planet. And the not-so-secret secret with ShopPay that boosts conversions up to 50%, meaning Way less carts going abandoned and way more sales going. So if you're into growing your business, your commerce platform better be ready to sell whatever your customers are scrolling or strolling on the web, in your store, in their feed, and everywhere in between. Upgrade your business and get the same checkout Skims uses. Sign up for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash try, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash try to upgrade your selling today. Shopify.com slash try. It's April 2nd. Wow. It's a Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A-Train. Happy anniversary, Sarah. I should have bought you a filet of fish today. You know, it's, <laughs> it's the last day for filet of fishes. <sighs> The last day for filet of fish? Yeah. Well, the, the, it's Good the, Friday. Yeah. So this is like the big fish on Friday day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's yeah. true. Well, Monday kicks off spring into cash with Sarah and A-Train. Your chance to win up to $10,000 each and every weekday. Beginning on Monday, we give you 10 code words. It all starts Monday morning at 8 o'clock. So how many fish fillets could you buy with $10,000? Yeah, so you win the ten grand, you pull up to the McDonald's drive through <laughs> and uh, at the end of it all, you're looking at 833 filet of fish sandwiches. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I got that right because that's divided by six, divided by two because there's two for the six. How so many? You get, I've only, sadly, I've only gone for one uh, double up filet of fish deal this really? year. Really? Yeah. They're they're wow. I'm telling you, how many of those could you eat? They they to me, it's like popcorn. I yeah. could eat so many of those. Uh, you know, for those of you counting calories, that is one of the lower calorie McDonald's meals. Is the <laughs> filet of fish sandwich? Believe it or not. 
Yeah. It's a much, <laughs> Even much with less the than the bread and yeah. the tartar sauce yeah. and all that. Much less than uh, okay. like the big the Big Mac. Big Mac is a big one. Whereas, uh, yeah, filet of fish is lower. It's around three hundred, if if my memory serves. Three hundred per sandwich. That's not too too bad. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, how many do you think you could eat, or how, how many have you eaten? I usually just go with the two. Uh, I can't. And are I, you hungry like a half hour later? Because I am. I've never. I remember because they used to. It used to be you'd get the sandwich and a fry. Yeah. And then they went, you can get two sandwiches if you want. That's the way it kind of came about. And then oh. a lot of people love the sandwiches. So oh. that's what they got. Um, no, I, yeah, I've never, I, yeah, I, I will, I will do two and that's it. That's the most I've done in one sitting. Two and that's it. Yeah. I okay. bet you if I needed to, mm. I gotta think. I mean, if I could, if I could did seven hot dogs, I, I gotta be able to do seven filet fish sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah. I would say so. Seven. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I think I'd, uh, I'd lose my lunch. Literally, if I did that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so yeah, happy Good Friday. Happy filet of fish spending, whatever you want to do. It's the Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A-Trade. Here's what's trending on SeacoastCurrent.com. All this talk about eating. Let's talk about 10 Seacoast restaurants that will be open on Easter. Absolutely. And that's what's trending at Seacoast Current. Also, the UNH graduation ceremony will be held at Wildcat Stadium in May. Good news there. And uh, the Red Sox, yes, opening day will happen today at 2 p.m. And uh, that big ceremony will include a Portsmouth plane flyover. Check that all out. Seacoastcurrent.com, your local news source for the Seacoast with no paywall. Be current, stay current at seacoastcurrent.com. Spots and weather coming up next. And A-Train, time now for the brain strain. Oh, I got a doozy today. I'm wicked proud of this one. But, of course, uh, we must say what we're playing for. Oh. How, how about 110 Grill, Sarah? I'm telling you, not only are you going to get a uh, Duncan gift card, but you are also going to get a gift certificate to 110 Grill. Their grand opening for their restaurant in Portsmouth is today. Yeah, yeah. So head on over to the 110 Grill, and we're giving you a gift certificate. Check this out for $100. Come on, come on. For the 110 Grill. 110 Grill right there, two port walk place in Portsmouth. <laughs> wow. Very excited. Woo! That's the thing with these uh, prizes is that I just get excited that we're giving people such great stuff. I, I know. I, I, I'm just bouncing off the walls. It's pretty amazing. It was oh. our anniversary... Uh, Today, right? Yes. Today is our anniversary. So, <laughs> so every anniversary, we're going to give you something big like this. Yeah. It's just 110 Grill just established that. Absolutely. Shark yeah. Nation go, wow, 110 Grill in Portsmouth? 100 bucks. 100 bucks? Yeah, Let's sign go. me up. All right, so are we going to give them a tough question or what? Yeah, it's kind of a fun one. Uh, Massachusetts drivers, <laughs> you know who you are, uh, the land of 1021. Massachusetts drivers, it takes them on average driving just two and a half miles to do this. Two and a half miles, you're going to do this at least once. What is it? All right. 877-45-SHARK. That's 877-457-4275. If you get the answer that we're looking for, you get the Dunks gift certificate and you get the $100 gift card to 110 Grill. I'll even make it because people are going to be like, is it flipping the bird? Is it flipping the bird? Is No, it's not flipping the bird. Wow. You're even like, wow. Yep. Okay. Yep. You're even going that far. Yep. He's in a wicked good mood today because it's our anniversary. Yeah. All right, there you go. We've got Whitney Houston coming up next. It's the Shark Morning Show. No. I'm speaking of anniversaries. It's our three-year anniversary. Um, that song was played on my wedding day, and my stepson, Wesley, and I danced to that particular oh, tune. Oh, we go. It was so nice. What yeah. a nice day. Bill Withers, what a great groove. Oh, I know. It's the Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A-Train. We are gearing up for win cash. Up to $10,000 could be yours. It all starts on Monday. You know, it's funny, Sarah. When I think of uh, you know big piles of cash, my, my brain is so <laughs> yeah, kind of cartoonish. Like, you know, the the images I had as a kid still remain, you know, big, like, sacks of cash. Who was that uh, duck? The yeah, animated oh, yeah. duck? Uh, Scrooge McDuck. Scrooge McDuck. Yeah, with his money room. He had yes, his coinage yes, yes. room. He'd roll around in his money. Oh, yep. boy, that that looked great. Uh, so <laughs> I think of that. And I don't know if it's, like, Monopoly or whatever with, like, the luxury tax, a oh, big yes. diamond ring. I think of just jewelry everywhere. Oh, you know? That's and, nice. Uh, I think of jewelry all yeah. the time. I, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, fun, you know, Jewelry Creations downtown Dover, they they must have, you know, amazing uh, pieces that with 10 Gs. Yep. Just walk in there like you're uh, the Monopoly dude. King of the world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, well, there's a Topaz bracelet. Oh, yeah, there's a Peridot and Topaz bracelet. Oh, it's not Peridot? 
It's I, I don't think so. It okay. could be Peridot, does as that far mean, as we know. Does that mean light blue? No. Yeah. Parad- okay. Yeah, Interesting. I think, I think so. All right. I'm not sure. See, I'm blinded by the beauty of jewelry. Uh-huh. Like, I don't know the stones and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, okay. uh, yeah, this particular one is a little over $300, which, you know. All right. There you go. Yeah, it's not too, too bad. You get your calculator out. Yeah. How many of these could you buy? A, li- a little over 300 uh, Yeah. So I'll go 310 or something. Oh, okay. 310 sure. Sure. Why not? Uh, uh, <laughs> 32 of them. 32. Okay. Man, that's all. That's uh, like 16 on each arm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's there good. You go. Ten thousand dollars. Wow! You could do whatever you want. You can pay bills. You can do the you know responsible thing. You could put it toward your mortgage. That's a big chunk of your mortgage. You know, pay that down. Mm-hmm. Well, um, yeah. yeah, if you want. And it all starts on Monday. So download the app. And uh, you can start winning. I'm picturing you going into Jewelry Creations, <laughs> beautiful downtown Dover. And go, yeah. Hey, I got two arms. Load them up. <laughs> <laughs> Load them up. Uh, Corey Hart's coming up next on the Shark. With Sarah and A-Train, it's Good Friday. It's our anniversary. Monday starts Win Cash. Your chance to win up to $10,000, baby. Woo-hoo. And winning starts on Monday. Absolutely. Yeah, that, that'd that be absolutely good Wouldn't to it? think up on this Good Friday. Good Friday. Speaking of good, did you know that just in recent years, in 2018, Irish pubs were allowed to open on Good Friday? <laughs> I cannot believe that uh, all the pubs in Ireland were closed on Good Friday for hundreds of years. Yeah. That is, uh, that's impressive. Mm-hmm. Now, when I think of a pub in Ireland, of course, I've never been, but the first thing I think of is a pint of Guinness. So I thought to myself, how much, how many Guinnesses, how many pints could I buy? <laughs> with $10,000. With $10,000. Okay. Let's so say I spring into cash <laughs> and uh, I got the 10 Gs. I walk into a pub in Dublin. Yes. Because they're about seven bucks a piece. They're six euros, which is seven bucks American. So, you know, you've got to do the American style. 1,428 pints of Guinness. Oh, that's going to have you seeing triple. Wow. There we go. That's a lot. Did let's, you know? Let's name this town after him. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot. Yeah. Wow. Uh, another thing about Good Friday, did you know that it's a good time to get a haircut? Apparently, oh. Good Friday, if you get a haircut today, it prevents headaches for the rest of the year. Who makes this stuff up? Okay. Seriously. That's it. I got to go see Hodgie's Barrington. <laughs> there we go. Oh, how many how many uh, Barrington uh, haircuts <laughs> could I get with $10,000? Because I'm going to figure that one out. All right. Uh, how much is it? I usually, well, I will give him, I think I give him 15 You give him 15 bucks. Yeah. Okay. For, oh, that's another evil number. I can't, oh. I, I can't even say it on Good Friday. See, I might burst into flames. Round it up to 20. Let me, let me give Haji an extra, uh, an extra buck. Oh, an extra buck. Okay. I can get my haircut at Haji's 625 times. All right. That's not bad. 625 times <laughs> with $10,000 if I spring into cash. <laughs> it's a Shark Morning Show <laughs> with Sarah and A-Train. Here's what's trending on Welcome to your Friday. It's Friday, Good Friday, our anniversary. So much going on. Oh, I know what. Sp- when cash starts on Monday. Mm, springing into cash Monday at 8 a.m. We've got uh, that first code word at 8 a.m. And then the top of the hour right throughout the day. Ten shots, ten code words throughout each and every weekday for you to spring into cash. $10,000 if you will, you know. Could be yours. Light them up. You were yeah. saying that your nephews really want to go see Godzilla versus Kong. It is all Godzilla versus Kong all the time. Of course, uh, the ultimate, uh, you know, m- matchup in uh, shakedown of monster movies. They weren't around for 1963. This has happened before. Yep. Uh, but I mean, that just looks like a couple of guys in rubber suits, you know, hit punching each other or whatever. This is the full, <laughs> real CGI match. Who's going to win? I mean, this is b- bigger than any MMA fight they've ever. You know, been focused right. on right. So. so we've been talking about how many of this or that could you buy with ten thousand dollars? How many movie tickets could you buy? I'm going to go with a nine dollar movie ticket. Okay, okay? and then yep. I run that through the ten grand. You're going to end up with one thousand one hundred and eleven movie tickets. You can go see one 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 one. Yes. Oh my goodness! You can go see Godzilla vs Kong over eleven hundred times. All right. Yeah. That's the whole city. You could you could buy the whole city a, a <laughs> movie it. ticket. Absolutely, popcorn though to go with it. Ooh. You can buy two, Ooh. <laughs> just two buckets. <laughs> but it's a medium. Oh lord! Yes, All sir. Right. That's that's eleven hundred dollars. <laughs> but it's a medium. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? 
for the Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A-Train. It's time to play Who Are You? A very fun and simple game where you pick a celebrity, give the other person three or more clues to try to figure out who that celebrity is. For a while now, I'm going to do uh, April Fools. It is uh, people that make us laugh, huge stars that are very funny in the world of comedy and beyond. And this guy is just like, I'm looking at, uh, you know, his list of accomplishments and uh, nobody had a better decade than this guy in the 1990s. He was born in Newmarket, Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. Oh, a I Canadian. was going to say. Yeah. I know, not not along the banks Justin of Justin McKinney? Not along, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I don't know. Not uh, along the shores of the uh, Lamprey River. <laughs> but yeah, this guy had uh, not only a great first half of that decade on sketch comedy, but he had a terrific second half of the decade with these huge blockbuster uh, comedy movies. Nope. Okay. His face is more rubbery than any human being's face I've oh, ever Jim seen. Oh, Jim Carrey. It's Jim Carrey. It is Jim Carrey. Oh, very good. That's yeah. a very good clue. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah it's goes. so funny because they have these deep fakes now. You know, these uh, these faces that you just go, wait, what's going on here? But his is the only one where you go, nope, that's not CGI. He's actually doing that with his face. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's he's a unbelievable. Good one. Yeah, he is. He's one of my favorites. He He's gotten very dark. Yeah. In his later years. That's what happens sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I think it kinda, it happened with Robin, too, didn't it? Yep. Robin Williams. Yeah. Steve Martin has actually bounced back. He had about a 10-year period oh, where... very dark. He, yeah, yeah. He would just, like, mm-hmm. read uh, philosophy or something. Well, I'll yeah. tell you what. Steve Martin, an incredible banjo player. He put mm-hmm. out new music, like, not long ago. Yeah. No, he's amazing. He he's, is. He's amazing with a banjo. Yeah, yeah. He sure is. I don't know. Maybe they just got sick of being funny. Oh, probably. You know what I mean? They get really dark. Yep. Who knows? That, all makes, right. that makes sense. Anyway, all right. Today, this guy's birthday is today. <laughs> I was going to say, I never have that problem. <laughs> no. And thank goodness for you, Train, honestly. Uh. Um, this guy was born in Denmark on April 2nd, oh. 1805. Oh, man. Yeah. We're really going back there. Yes. Oh, he was boy. 70 years old when he died on August 4th, okay. 1875. Is he an artist? He's a writer. Oh. Uh, and he... The funny part about this guy, we make reference to him in a roundabout sort of way on a daily basis off the air, and I'll fill you in. Oh, wow. Is This this is a neat one. Yeah. So, this you know cool. when we say to each other, <laughs> might be t- pulling back the curtain a little bit too much, but it's our anniversary, so we can do what we want today. Uh, we say, nothing to see here, nothing to see, <laughs> turn away, nothing yeah. to see. That is a roundabout reference to this guy and his book the emperor's new clothes okay okay interesting um is oh yeah is that uh hans christian anderson hans christian anderson yeah the emperor's new clothes hans brinker and the silver skates was that his no i don't know no he also wrote the little mermaid the ugly duckling the little match girl i don't know what that is that was Uh, one of my aunt burl's favorites was a little match girl Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no kidding. You figure, you know. I mean, she's, was, she lived to be as old as him. Yeah, right. Right? <laughs> exactly. They were born was, the same year. They were contemporaries. Yeah, right. <laughs> happy birthday. Read a book today. If it's your birthday today, happy birthday to you. It's the Shark Morning Show. <laughs>